Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Galactic Civilization 4! Now, the videos up to now were recorded all in one day, and um, I am going to record a bunch more episodes today, as many as I can do before my voice gives way, but that will be the end of this particular run. So I'm, I'm hoping to get a handful of episodes in here. It's a little tricky because it's all in between live streams and things like that, which uh, can, can put some strain on the old voice box, but I'm gonna try to do my best to go as far as we can in this game. As a reminder though, uh, there is also a secondary Let's Play that's gonna be started. By this point, it will have already started over on twitch.tv slash quilteen. You can check the VOD there. Hopefully I'll be uploading it to YouTube uh, in the, you know, with some amount of rapidity. Hey, for all I know, I've already done it. It's on it's on the YouTube channel, so we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna do as best as we can over here. Um, I still I would very much like to bring war to the Dringen here. Uh, we've recently integrated the Torians. They decided to GG out of this and give up to me, which is awfully nice of them. Um, so we'll see what we can do. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and continue to the next turn. Oh, right before the video started, I did go and upgrade uh, this star base here. Uh, with a couple of sensor platforms, which, first of all, I was going to appreciate the vision in this area, and the other thing is it will generate a little bit more influence, because that was starting to be encroached on a little bit here by the Yor, as you can see. Construction ship is coming up here, uh, and research for leadership recruiting is done. The mul multiplicative effect of a good leader can have on their people cannot be underestimated. The decisions they make can make everyone around them more productive. We need to stop finding good leaders by chance. We can build the governor's mansion now. One per planet... Plus one maintenance. I don't know what the maintenance strat is for, actually. Increased loyalty. Oh, that's interesting. So you build this on a planet, and it makes the governor more loyal. Huh. And invite leaders. Right. Spend control. Search for talented. For our most talented, we'll provide three new leaders for recruitment. Alrighty. What do we got here? Well, I think... Hmm. Oh, more policies. That is very nice. But I think we've got to pick up a few more military techs here. I think we can take the battle to the Dringen with our current tech, but we certainly don't want to slow things down. Bandas of Loxy smugglers have crashed their ship here. They have little power left in their ship, barely enough to maintain life support, and are desperate for food and medical supplies. Loxy are vague about what led them here, though it's difficult to tell if this is because of some illicit behavior or if it's simply part of the Loxy culture. We can easily provide the food and supplies the Loxy need, but with that and a little extra convincing, they may be willing to abandon their ship and join our empire entirely, which you do. Convince them to settle on our world. Give us two extra citizens. We could use some extra pops for more construction ships or resupply this Loxy at a fair price. We could also use money, but I think I would like the population. I think that's going to be quite ni nice. This ship over here does have an upgrade available to it. Now, this is just our pure explorer. It's got no weaponry. Even if we gave it more hit points, it really wouldn't be able to do much. Um... I don't know. It's got pretty good movement. I'm actually wondering about just giving it some more sensor range. We could we could literally use it as a spotter in warfare stuff, although we'll keep it just automated for now. All right, construction ship here. I do kind of wish it was easier to tell which resources were mined. I mean, it's easy to tell the ones that are outside our border aren't being mined, but the ones inside our border, it's a lot less obvious. And I, I wonder if there's if there's a tool or something for that. Like, that's being mined. These are all... Well, that's nothing. That's all being done there. I could deploy it as a communications hub, uh, which would let us maybe flip this planet over here. It'll cause some tension with the Yor, but... Okay, these things are definitely not being utilized for us, and maybe that's the place to send this construction ship. In fact, depending on what our range is now, I wonder if it could pick up this antimatter at the same time. The antimatter's not especially critical, because we do have so much of it right now. So I'm not super concerned. All right, what's in our uh, shipyard queue? Constructor research mission. Yeah, no, okay, hold on. I'm gonna cancel that because it just started. We're gonna whip out a couple of asteroid miners. I do also want some more warships, but we've got a lot of asteroids we could use and that would make a big difference to our production rate. And you guys are just auto-serving right now, which is fine. Hopefully we can uh, get some more military modules for you and just merge you up. Got a Dragon Fleet going over here. Heavy on the missiles. We may want to look at some point defense um, weapons or, or defenses on our ships. 
Because, uh, yeah, right now we have no defenses. Now, we might just be able to overwhelm them with raw damage, but... We are about to unlock a little defensive tech, which is going to be okay. I'm going to go for two more asteroid miners from here as well. What is this? Seize goods. Somehow our military advisors come by an inoperable ancient relic. Well done, him. He claims that with some rare components, he can make he can repair it and provide us a ship upgrade that will significantly weaken the armor of the enemy ships we face in battle. He would like to simply commandeer the items he needs from our citizens, perhaps tipping his hand as to how he came by the relic in the first place. What are your orders? Citizens will be happy to contribute to such a valuable project. Authority goes up, reduced approval, or citizens' goods are their own. What we need from anomalies, we'll take what we need from anomalies, and it takes longer. Start a mission. So, I'm guessing if we do this, we probably get a follow-up that's going to be a part for one of our survey ships. And here we get a mission. I don't really want to take the approval hit. I'm going to do this, and, you know, we are, we're serving anomalies pretty quickly, so hopefully... Survey 7 anomalies. Well, I mean, it's not going to be super quick, but it should hopefully be okay. All right, we've got another constructor ready. I mean, we never did mind that, but I don't think that's a big deal. We can get more antimatter here. What is this relic? Manufacturing relic. Well, that's pretty nice. There's also an ascension relic over here. I think what we'll do is we'll plan on moving between these two. I bet you we have the range for the manufacturing relic as well as the antimatter. Yeah. I mean, the ascension crystal is victory stuff, but we can pick that up later. It's a colony ship over there. Okay. Oh, are there, are there many planets we could still colonize? There's a few, but not very many. Okay. Not going to stress about that. Defensive studies. And yeah, it should lead to more defensive tech as well. Oh, asteroid miner. Um, you're here, so let's send you over there, because it's quite close to where you are, so we'll get to take advantage of the asteroids as soon as possible. Shipyard, Beacon of Babylon. Yeah, getting another shipyard up is going to be okay, although a lot of these places will be building quite slowly. All right, defensive studies research complete. Spaceships are fragile things with little hope to standing up to even the current level of weapons technology. We should devise a system which will give our ships a fighting chance of surviving encounters with hostile forces. Okay, choose new tech. Ministry of Defense. Missile countermeasures. This is what we need, some point defense weaponry for the Dringan. Okay. Asteroid miner over here. Well, let's send you to that asteroid cluster, please and thank you. And who dis? This is a fleet I've got. Got five of each defense, which is kind of nice, actually. I guess all our ships got a flat plus one. Um, Precursor Sentinels. Okay, this is a baddie. All right. It didn't ask us, like, oh, you need to declare a war. No. This is a baddie. Are they over here? No, that's the... That's another species. Oh, I had some buttons. Hang on. Constructor ship? Yeah, we'll just grab whoever. And we're at war with the Festrin. Well, I have to say I didn't exactly anticipate that. Let's see here. Tourism, leader pool. Well, we don't have any money for leaders. Approval boost survey. Let's take an approval boost. I'm going to do the tourism boost. I actually don't know how much tourism we've got, but it might help with our income. And how's our approval balance? It's actually pretty good. Let's go to our tax rate to medium here. There we go. So we can get significantly more income. We have an idle core world that's Toria. Um, you have a shipyard, which is great. Um, I could upgrade some of these buildings, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Fusion power plant is good for adjacencies. It's nearly full, though. It doesn't actually boost research. Oh, it does boost research. I guess I could put it here, then. Yeah, that's a decent adjacency. That's probably worth more than the upgrade here. But yeah, we'll just keep you busy. The big thing for you is that your shipyard's going... You have a lot of citizens. Wow. You do have a lot of citizens. Could have been building a lot of... Um of our constructors and stuff over here. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably worth booping these things. Okay, they have a presence here and there. 
All right, these are the guys I'm at war with, with that flag. Oh, they're enraged, right for conquest. I guess we're no longer friends with the Yor. That happened fast. Military buildup concerns us. I have artifacts, right for con. So, I mean, we clearly don't have as much military as these guys. Now, if the Yor declare war on us as well, that is going to be quite annoying. But I guess we're going to go and we're just going to boop this gunship here. Not that that's going to be terribly difficult. Um, and yeah, we're going to go into military ships. So I'm wondering at this point... If I should go into the design screen. Now, I could start with a completely brand new design. Um... Yeah, and you can start with just like just a cube and then add extra bits on them. But we're I'm going to take one of these uh, established designs because I can't Lego my way into things. I'm sorry, but it's the way it's going to be. Um, so now we're going to look to add equipment here. So it's got enough space for four things. I'm not convinced we're going to be making something bigger, uh, better. We might want one ship in our fleet that's actually got the slipstream accelerator. But let's look at what kind of design we might do. Do we need these drives? What kind of movement do we have out of the box? Nine. Chance to escape battle, plus one moves, plus two moves, plus three, but we take a hit point, hit. And then there's a Promethean drive, which takes Promethean, but does give us a huge amount of boost. Uh, one of the questions, I suppose, is how much Promethean do we have? We only have two. So we can't really outfit entire fleet with this. Um, weaponry. Let's see. This is not do as much damage. These are fast cooldowns. Oh, they're all fast cooldowns. The range is all the same, 1,000. Enhanced missile weapon. Four. But this takes antimatter. But we have a crap ton of antimatter. Oh, those are both beams. Okay. I, I, different categories. What about the kinetics? So, no, they... Right, I thought they were supposed to have different ranges for different things. Maybe at higher levels they do? Yeah, we can attach them anywhere, but... Because I think it's just cosmetics. We could consider twin launchers. Yeah, the only defenses we have are hull plating, which is only going to help against kinetic attacks. It might be worth doing. I don't know what we're going to be facing necessarily. I'm not going to be adding any of those. Um, how are we on Durantium? Oh, we only have the one. That's too bad. Because it would be nice to get the flat stuff here. But... It might be worth, rather than any specific de defense, just sticking some extra hit points on here. We currently have 16 hit points. If we just throw in, like, two of these um, hull plating reinforcements, so we're 4 of 4, that puts us up to 24 hit points. Or do we just do raw attacks? I don't know, this seems like a decent balance, two of each. I'm not sure. Uh, where do we name the ship? Maybe when I hit save? animations oh cool got a twisty bit which can you yeah, add we can tweak we can change the animation all right um vote uh zero one I, you know what i should really come up with some sort of naming convention for these sorts of things to keep track of it Like, something like M... Hmm. Assault. M9 to show that it's a... Um, like, the highest attack is missile of 9. And then we'll list defenses. I'll go... Oh, I can't put a star. Um, I guess I'll just put D for defenses in general. Sure. Like, everything's at a 1. And then... It's 24 HP. Or something like that. I kind of want to do that. Battle roll. Um, I 
they do do different things, but I don't know what their deal is. Yeah, this this is not terribly fast. But out of curiosity, okay, having designed that, how does it weigh? Why is it not even in the list? Why is it a specialty ship? As opposed to a military ship. Takes two antimatter to build. We have lots of it. So I ended up with like 10 points of missile attack. We can also have 10 points of kinetic attack with this gunboat. It's got less hit points, but it's got more kinetic armor. Why is it, um, why is it there? Can't drag it. What did design favorite it? So the thing is, I'm not I'm not sure that it's actually like better than what I've what I could build otherwise. But I sort of have to hope that maybe it is. There's a second asteroid field over here. We can go and do that. You know, we'll we'll get back to the starbase in a second here. Um, and another constructor. Well, I'm a little bit more nervous because now that warfare has started, we have so much antimatter. It feels like I really should like continue to pump out the uh, the, the prototype missile ships. I don't know. Let's do it. I still don't know why it's not classed as a military ship. Sorry, it's my first time uh, trying to build something over here. So, I mean, it doesn't have great defenses, but on the other hand, we don't really have to care about whatever they might be throwing at us. We mostly just have to hope they don't have point defense to counter our missiles. Which... Yeah, mostly we need armor. And yeah, they're going to be sending a lot of stuff through here, specifically as their entry. Which means Toria is probably going to be the thing to concern themselves with. Oh, and actually, I should be uh, doing things with my military here. So, I mean, we did boop their single ship. They also have a little bit of a presence here. It's just a colony. I think I'm going to ignore that now, though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move sort of over in this direction. But I don't want to leave this queued move, so I'm going to click to move them, and then I'm going to click the ship again to stop. And I want to make sure that our survey ships here, commander ships, survey ships... Um, yeah, okay, you just started that. I'm going to do this. I do wish there was an option of, like, well, finish it, but then go off of auto mode. And as far as I can tell, that's not an option. Okay, so we have one fleet. We have these two extra ships. They have been stalled out. Um, I don't think we've got any ships parked around any planets right now. Hopefully that doesn't backfire on us. Uh, this survey ship here... Okay, it's not them. And it is this one, though. Yeah, we don't have enough moves for that, but... Actually, I suppose I could keep the right-click on this and just see if we can chase that down and finish it off. Yes, go ahead and build the asteroid thingy. So yeah, we're sort of looking for this pinkish color, not purple. I wouldn't exactly call this pink, but I guess that's probably the closest. Did they just... They must have just surrendered to someone. Oh, and the Yor have declared war on me. Yeah, the Drengen sur surrendered to the Yor. Well, that's just peachy keen. What we need is... um, What we need are armor plates against some of the kinetic weapons we're seeing. Uh, this is happening fast. Doesn't everything just kind of chill a second ago? No longer the case. So now we have to worry about killing all the purple fleets as well. Well, I mean, it's going to be a fantastic ending to whatever we've got going on here. All right, well, we can hit you with our command ship. Good. All right. Well, that's something. Uh, I don't suppose I have another leader I can afford. Almost, but not quite. Uh, because we can maybe throw you in some more commander ships. 
Oh, construction ship. Oh, would that reach? If I go here. Oh, uh, it doesn't, doesn't reach the antimatter. That's going to be okay. Uh, let's build this as a military starbase. And I don't have any modules right now. Alright. So that's... I have a colony ship going out? Hmm, apparently. So there's still you... There's still these things. What we do need are, are going to be some ground invasion ships. But I think what I maybe should do is see if I can take out some shipyards. Yeah, that's a good idea. And actually, why don't I merge these two together? I mean, it's our fleet's so powerful that maybe... Maybe we don't want to merge things together. Because I may want to be able to move around multiple independent things. But yeah, if we can start booping the shipyards... The problem is, where do we focus our efforts? You know? So yeah, we actually need an invasion fleet over here. Go and kill that. But yeah, I need a, a ground invasion fleet. Okay, this survey ship... Right, was set to follow and finished. I'm actually thinking about just flipping this real quick. Okay, that's done. Let's get a transport. Just one right now. And then we're going to be able to send it to Ashlesha. Although, ah, oh, these guys are going to be a pain. This colony ship is probably doomed. You're under siege, I know. Oh, this would be us losing here. All right. Although, you have an upgrade waiting for you, which is nice. Oh, I would really love to have more Durantium, but apparently that's not going to happen. Um, oh, and you're fairly injured. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a percentage hit point boost. The other thing I should check is what are our current... Uh, not the... that. Over here are policies. Let's cancel the tech things. Is there anything we can do to boost our strength? Well, we can boost our, um, our conscription... Uh, we could lower our ship range for more hit points. That actually seems okay. Experimental drives would be bad for us, as is fast exploration right now. Bonus intelligence for all citizens and leaders, and a bonus to growth? Hold on. Where did we get that? Military stimulus. This actually seems like a decent idea. Because that's more manufacturing overall. This specifically is boosting military um, points. But this might be better, actually. Protect the planet. Oh, yeah, that's not the kind of protect the planet. Prototype defense. That's what we have to be running. I'm going to have to run this instead of genetic manipulation. Yeah, plus two to everything is just insanely good for us. Starship specifications. Hertz manufacturing increases our hit points some more. Unregulated research. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think raw manufacturing and then ship hit points and extra passive defenses would have been nice to do that a second ago. Um, I could start... Maybe I will get one more transport ship. Although, they will have to be defended. Otherwise, I don't know, build more of these um, assault ships here that theoretically will be able to fight. Where do I want to send you? Us total losses. They have more hit points and a lot more firepower. Yeah, we really have to go and group you together. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just have you come over here. It's already started to rebel. Yeah, not much. Um, and just do a very slow little conquest of that while we build more ships for you to group up with. Total loss. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have to flee with this vessel here. Colony ship. Um, move a little in. I mean, it can still get killed if it, you know, if they want to. We'll still see if we can get around to this planet. But it's really not a big deal, because it'll probably just get lost to an invasion. Okay, deflection theory. Yes, please. 
Um, maximum size. That's more logistics. Right now, we mostly need more ships. These are orbital mine upgrades. I think we'll just go down more of the military tech, see what we can keep unlocking. Okay, I'm just going to try to move a little bit closer to the edge here with that ship, see what we can do. Uh, we did lose a constructor. Yeah, just stay right on the edge. Alright, idle shipyard. More assault vessels. Okay. Why don't you head over here and we can rendezvous with the other ship that's moving in this area. This discovery has got an upgrade pending. Yeah, we can just give you more antimatter warheads. Oh shit, you're almost out of hit points. There must have been ships defending this thing. For you to have taken damage like that. Uh, constructor over here. Yeah, just go ahead and deploy as a mining star base. That's going to be fine. Okay. Not a very exciting spot to be, but it's going to be all right. Okay, transports. Now, presumably our transports, I'm suspecting we probably won't resolve. That seems to be the military one. You know, maybe Diligence. Oh, 8 Resolve. Does Loxy have few redeeming qualities? If by few, you mean none. Their culture rewards strong action and concerns like ethics and compassions were lost long ago. We, every use of Loxy is a criminal and generates crime. Really? Okay, well, I look like they're going to make great soldiers, though, so that's going to be all right. Colony ship. All right, stay on the edge, go through the nebula, which slows you down, but also lowers detection radius. Um, yeah, we don't need anti-missile defense. What we need is more armor. 28 HP, 24 HP. I don't think they're packing point defense. Just keep doing this for now. Okay, this transport here. I think the first place to take is probably Drengi, but we're going to have to be very careful about how we move here. There's a lot of enemy fleets around. Let me just send you to this Deep Space Starbase right now. Not that it's very defended, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's go and just make our way over here. I'm not going to use a... Um, and yeah, you're still on Auto Explore, which is fine. You can't fight, and we'll still get some, some stuff. Uh, total loss... Oh, you can't reach there. Oh, and you're out of movement as well. Uh, are you going to get killed first? No, not yet. Seize good success. Hey, free integrity disruptor ship upgrade. I guess we got enough anomalies. Now, we do have our artifacts to deal some damage to things. And fully repair fleets, which might come in handy. What else do we have here? Uh, draft colonists. We don't want to call any ship. Invite leaders. We can't run this one. Uh, science boost, maybe... Yeah, let's do that. Okay, you're under siege. Okay, we've taken that planet. This is our, our best fleet. We should really maybe be going and trying to kill things with it. So there's no shipyard over here at all. On the other hand, we could flip this really easily. Now, I think I need to um I need I need to bring this a little bit more centered up. Well, let's see if we can kill this thing. We'll just leave it on kind of a follow command. I don't think you can reach that planet right now. But we'll put you on a crash course over there. Oh, there we go. Total loss is the other way from them, and theoretically no casualty. Good. All right. Front loading enough damage. That's at least something. Oh, I have enough money now for a leader. I've got to remember that. 
Um, let's go and take a look at that now. So, yeah, and it's both Diligence and Resolve that are good commander traits. So we're going to grab Richard Null over here. And... To me, the Perseverance seems like a much better choice for us. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. Thank you very much. Um, okay, this survey ship is also a warfare ship. Let's move you a little over in this zone. We're going to try to center you up a little bit. Okay. And this fleet here is not actually that damaged. Can I take these guys? Great. And stop them from conquering Troc. Perfect. Okay, there's the Perseverance. I can use that to snipe this thing. There are some other war fleets around, though. Just a transport. That's the Explorer. You know, we might want to fleet up with this thing, actually. It does have, like, a huge sensor array. That might be kind of handy. We've got enough logistics we could throw it into a fleet right now. You know what? I think I'll do that. Abandon the survey. Use the moves you've got. Get a little closer. You're going to jump in on this thing. I mean, it's certainly far from a death fleet, but it's something. We are going to be able to blow this thing up with them having full losses. Oh, and actually we have, um, I was going to say, we probably have some extra ships around. There we are. Bring you into that fleet. Excellent. And what we'll probably do is, well, actually we might put a target over there. We'll see. Um, or there. But we could merge up with this transport and then we'll be ready to do planetary invasions. Okay, excellent. Forgot we had something on follow over there. They're sieging some planet stuff there and here, but that's going to have to be okay. Give you more planetary defense, but that's still not going to stop the siege. It'll just slow it down. Gordon as well. Yeah, they're hitting us all over the place. All right, this fleet here, we want to... I mean, we do want to try to kill some of their stuff along the way. Um, and yeah, we kind of want to cluster up in an area. We can't defend every front simultaneously, so we're going to have to pick and choose where how we're going to kind of push through. You are going to def... Oh, shit! No! Cancel! Abort! We were probably fairly damaged. Okay, let me fully repair this fleet now in case it decides to attack us again. I mean, it's the one that's damaged now, but I was like, I was not expecting it to be difficult in any way whatsoever. Approval leaders, let's do approval right now. All right. Um, I don't think this fleet's going to be able to do anything, but we might want to go since there is actually some danger apparently starting to form up. Move over here. I'm going to try to stay just out of range of this fleet, though. While still moving towards our own fleet for maybe some reinforcements. Military advisor wants us to build this. Battle roll escort. Battle roll assault. Maybe I should have built mine as escorts. Because they will have different AI. It just takes a little longer to build. I guess the damage output is just as good and doesn't take any resources. Alright. Just start spamming things out. That's going to be fine. Okay, we've got a single little assault ship. Can we kill that thing? No, we cannot. Nor do I think we can counter this. So all we're going to do is try to move out of this area. Yeah, go ahead and colonize that planet. We'll probably lose it. Someone else will get it. You know, good for them. It's a shipyard. we got a rally point there, but we're not using it. Okay, you can just move forward. As much as you can. And the shipyard destroyed. Yeah, that's going to be real, real annoying here. Um, shield percentage boost. You know, we're just going to go for, like, just flat out more movement on our ships, which actually seems like a pretty good idea. Should I turn around and kill this? I mean, I, I you know... You gotta, you gotta do the whack-a-moles, but we also need to make some forward progress here, so I think we're just gonna move into this area. And...
me do that. And actually, I'm going to plan on having this fleet move towards over here, too. Because then, actually, they should be strong enough to be able to make some, make some effective attacks. Okay, I'm going to go here. Actually, I guess I'll eject you guys. You're not damaged anymore, which is fine. Let's. This is my transport ship. Let's go ahead and make the move towards Drenki right now with this. Single assault ship over here. Them total loss on this bomber. Yeah, it's not much of a thing. And these guys, if they broke their siege, could kill us. But Or if they complete their siege really quickly, then maybe they can finish that off. Which would be annoying. But we've got to take our opportunities where they present themselves. Oh, our star base survived. Well, that's good news. Okay. All right, well, I clearly got to put a cut in here. Typical Quill thing. We're at war. Get sucked into the action. It's easy to uh, to lose track of time there. Um, I'm just group these guys up so I don't forget what's going to go on. We'll put a cut in here. We'll be back next time with a massive, massive war. See you then. Bye-bye.